Hello and welcome to the world famous Cards by Kendra channel. I'm doing this voiceover for this video where she shows five cards made with the March 2024 Pink and Main Crafty Courtyard Kit. She recently shared an unboxing video showing all of the contents of the kit. And here we're going to give you a brief look at these items that are included. The kit's special because of its Pink and Main's 10th birthday and the Crafty Courtyard's 5th anniversary, so it includes some extra items. The A2 Shaker pouches plus a pickup and place tool. If you'd like to subscribe to the kits, you can visit the Pink and Main website using the affiliate link in the description box below. Shopping using this link doesn't cost you anything extra, but it helps support Kendra's work. Some of you may recall last year, Kendra's birthday, this time of year, I made a card for her. And it was so very special. And yet, <laughs> if you like watching kindergartners do work, that's about sub-kindergarten levels what was produced. So hopefully this year is a little better because she's making the card and I'm just doing the voiceover for her. So we're watching her do this card now for Pink and Main and she's stamping. This thing's going 100 miles an hour, y'all. Oh my God. Sorry about that, y'all. Uh, Kendra made me laugh. And uh, that thing was going so fast, we had to take a little pause. But here's a card that she already made. She's not gonna show you how to do it over again. But she is showing it. Look how pretty. <clears throat> well, here we go. Following along here, what's she doing? By the way, I haven't watched this video yet. And I don't know the name of all these little instruments that she uses. So if um, I say something you don't quite understand, you'll have to message her directly to find out what it is because I couldn't tell you. But going along here, she's placing this clear plastic stuff on. I don't know what's that used for. Make it. Um, shiny i suppose oh i guess that would be what holds in the little shaker pieces whatever she uses to make it a shaker card and she's running her fingers along the edges there to show you that it's the curvature oh gold well, isn't that pretty and garnet oh she's a seminole at heart look at her putting this uh seminole stuff together now i don't know if that's what it's going to turn out to be but that's how I would do it. And she's got this on her phone, which is so small I can barely see what's going on. I'm even wearing my reading glasses and I can hardly see, but maybe she'll learn next time to put this on like the big screen so I can see this uh, normal. But there she goes, smoothing the edges of these rough edged pieces of paper so that it all goes together smoothly and quite beautifully. Jesus. Putting it all together. So it's appropriate that she's making birthday cards being that her birthday's coming up on the 15th. And the whole reason why I, why I am doing this uh, voiceover for her. And here she is peeling the sticky off so that she can uh, put this down. Well, let's see how she's going to get stuff inside that after it's all together. Well, it looks like she has made a place where she can pour her little shaker beads in or whatever these doodads are called. And there she has inserted them and sealed it off so now you can shake and bake baby and make it look pretty you know Kendra is um, anytime I have something at work where we need a card my co-workers always ask me to get my wife to do a card whether it be for a retirement or um, get well whatever it may be 
because there's a personal touch to these cards. When, when you make the card, it gives such an added personal touch. And a lot of people really appreciate that. And here she is um, giving her personal touch to this shaker card. So Kendra typed a few prompts for me in case I get stumped on any of this stuff. And uh, we'll see if uh, I can read through it quick enough to, to help me out. But uh, one, one thing that that's, looks like a scalloped edge there. And uh, take that word from her prompts. I think of scallop taters though when I talk about scallop, but it was the paper. Now she's about to stick the, uh, there is some glue. Whoa, what a fancy trigger gun she has for applying glue. I might have to sw swipe that for uh, some projects around the house. We'll see. But since it's a birthday card, she's going to be gluing this um, birthday gifts somewhere on this card. Let's see where it goes. Okay. Get some of that heavy duty glue there. Glue that down to the outside of the card. And now she shows it off. When you open it, you can see um, the shaker window with all the, the uh, sequins inside. Now, she's applying some more of that heavy duty glue. Let's see. Well, wasn't that just nifty? Perfect placement. I want to remember that trick for some things I need to do around the house too. That was uh, not only crafty, but that was uh, pretty slick, pretty ingenious, I would say. And here we go with the sentiment that she applied in there. And this is so small, I, I could not read that. So once again, if you can see it, great. If not, message her and she could probably tell you what that said. So I believe that is just about one card down. Let's see what will be coming up next on the agenda here. I'm not quite sure what she's doing there. If that's some type of paint to make it shiny. That's what it's looking like. Give some little finishing touches. Yep. Happy birthday to you. What a lovely card. And I think it even sounds cool when you shake it. All right, so here we go. Starting on the next nice uh, floral background, looks like. And that shiny pink paper out there is really cool. I like these foil papers. Um, I guess I'm kind of like a fish. I like shiny stuff. I don't know. But um, any of her shiny cards I like. But here she is placing different colored um, card stock together just to give some variety and um, some contrast, I guess. Now here she is. Uh, looks like. It looks like a zip popping tool, actually, but I think it gets underneath things to uh, pick off the, the uh, sticky cover stuff so that she could get her little sequins in there for the shake and bake part of it. And now she's sealing it up with uh, whatever that doohickey is that presses stuff down. I forget what it's called. Let me see if I can look through here. I know I've seen what that's called before. Um, but yeah, I've actually used it before for something. I don't remember what it was. Probably to make her little kindergarten card I made last year. But I digress. Here she is uh, flattening things down and using that zip popper again to peel it, peel it off. Because once again, I couldn't tell you what the technical term for it is. That's just what it looked like to me. Here she is pushing it down with the uh, plastic uh, folder doohickey or whatever it was. Oh man, she went right through that car real quick. And she's coloring. I guess uh, those are Copic markers. She wanted to make sure I told you about these Copic markers. 
it's always funny to me when she talks about these Copic markers because I'm thinking copulate, but that's a whole different story for another day on another channel. But here she is, put to have these um, colors from the Copic markers for the candles. And who doesn't like a lot of variety with their um, candles, with their copulating markers? You know, those candles almost look like little snakes. If you were to vary the color a little bit on each one, that'd be kind of uh, creepy, though. I don't like snakes too much. But I don't dislike them either, so if there's any, like, snake lovers out there, don't be hating on me, because I, I let the good ones live when they come around, because they like to eat lizards and other snakes and stuff. But um, well, that was a pretty pink ribbon she glued across there, covering those candles. Now she's using that looks like that zip popper thing again, to, and her fancy handy dandy uh, glue gun to put down uh, some little shiny dots or something just those finishing touches you know to make it personal and that's the whole point point. and here we go with some little shiny paint in between looks like so make a wish another card down let's see what's up next looks like um Wow, that was neat. She just cut that right off. So there's always going to be some uh, contrast here with varying colors. Uh, something colorful over her foil base. And uh, I think she um, she might have mentioned to me about that folder doohickey. It's like a bone folder think what it was called that was what I was trying to think of earlier and couldn't but uh you apply that heavy duty glue with your handy dandy glue gun and if you don't have one I mean squeezing it works too but um there she goes putting it all together snip off any uh, excess with your handy dandy scissors You could even uh, use a razor if you're so inclined. But uh, she had the snips for it. Very easy. That looks like that might have been some two-sided tape going there that she put down that, uh, if I can see that, as a sentiment. And now here she goes adding some finishing touches with some squirt paint. Don't know what else she'd call that, but... Uh, Nice little glittery, shiny thing, I believe. And there's a happy birthday to you card. And here we go with the fourth, and I think maybe the final card for this video. I certainly hope so anyway. But, um, love the colors. And there we go with that pretty pink, bright pink uh, foil background again. Can't go wrong with that. Line the glue. That way it all fits nicely together. Multi layered. And uh, oh, looky there, there's something new. That's not a Copic marker, that's a colored pencil. So, another uh, method for you on your cards. You can use colored pencils. Look how pretty. And it, will come out just as nice depending on your preference you use either or but uh, she, I don't think she told me who where these pencils came from but um, I guess colored pencils are more than just for kindergartners and first graders you can uh, use them with your crafty cards as well and make them nice and pretty And obviously, if she's going to color this whole thing with a colored pencil, definitely going to have some sped up video because that would uh, take a while, I would think. But 
let's roll on through here see if we can get to some finishing touches and there you have it and now she's back to that handy dandy glue gun to put some glue on there and uh, I believe she has carpal tunnels, probably why she uses that glue gun instead of just squeezing the bottle. May make it easier. But like I said before, that's kind of a, a nifty tool to have. I could probably use it around the house. And here she goes again with some of the finishing touches with the little. Uh, I'm going to go out on a limb here and say that might be some glitter, some shiny uh, paint in that little squish bottle she's using for the finishing touches. Well, look how pretty that card is. Celebrate. So here you have five cards made with the March 2024 Pink and Main Crafty Courtyard Kit. If you enjoyed this video, please click the thumbs up button and leave a comment to let us know you stopped by. And if you're not already a subscriber, we hope you'll subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and have a nice day.